Lucky Stacy for $1.99. <gasps> Live from the improv, Stacy's only 89 cents. Ew. Hey, mister, what's in the box? Um, it's the uh, new talking Malibu, Stacy. Falls over the General Assembly as Stacy approaches the podium to deliver what will no doubt be a stirring and memorable address. I wish they taught shopping in school. Oh. Let's bake some cookies for the boys. Come on, Stacy. I've waited my whole life to hear you speak. Don't you have anything relevant to say? Don't ask me. I'm just a girl. <laughs> right on. Say it, sister. It's not funny, Bart. Millions of girls will grow up thinking that this is the right way to act. That they can never be anything more than vacuous ninnies whose only goal is to look pretty, land a rich husband, and spend all day on the phone with their equally vacuous friends talking about how damn terrific it is to look pretty and have a rich husband. Just what I was going to say. Look at me! I'm acting young! Whoa! Let's buy makeup so the boys will like us. <sighs> Don't you people see anything wrong with what Malibu Stacy says? Oh, there's something wrong with what my Stacy says. My spidey sense is tingling. Anybody call for a web slinger? No, Celeste. I mean, the things she says are sexist. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa said a dirty word. <laughs> they cannot keep making dolls like this. Something has to be done. <laughs> Lisa, ordinarily I'd say you should stand up for what you believe in, but you've been doing that an awful lot lately. Yeah, you made us march in that gay rights parade. And we can't watch Fox because they own those chemical weapon plants in Syria. I can't believe you're just going to stand by as your daughters grow up in a world where this, this is their role model. I had a Malibu Stacy when I was little and I turned out all right. Now let's forget our troubles with a big bowl of strawberry ice cream. Now let's forget our troubles with a big bowl of strawberry ice cream. Mm. That's it. I'm calling the company. Malibu Stacy, America's favorite eight and a half inch. In 1959, homemaker Stacy Lavelle had a design and a dream. The design, Malibu Stacy. The dream, to mass market a fashion doll that was also edible. Kids didn't much like the taste of dried onion meal, but they loved the doll. A second plastic Malibu Stacy took America by storm. Just ask the owner of the world's largest Malibu Stacy collection, Waylon Smithers of Springfield. And what does Stacy think of her 35 years of success and millions of friends worldwide? Don't ask me. I'm just a girl. <laughs> <laughs> She sure is. Well, that's the tour. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer... I have one. Yes? Is the remarkably sexist drivel spouted by Malibu Stacy intentional, or is it just a horrible mistake? <laughs> Believe me, we're very mindful of such concerns. Hey, Jiggles, grab a pad and back that gorgeous butt in here. Oh, you get away. <laughs> uh, don't act like you don't like it. Oh, oh. Yes? I, why, it's Homer Simpson's daughter. I thought you might be able to help me get in touch with the inventor of Malibu Stacy. <laughs> that would be quite a feat. Stacy Lavelle is a total recluse. She hasn't appeared in public in 20 years. Here, I'm writing an article on her for my next Malibu Stacy newsletter. It contains her last known whereabouts. I'll uh, print you out a copy. Thanks. Hello, Smithers. You're quite good at turning me on. Um... You probably should ignore that. No, it couldn't be. Excuse me, Miss Lavelle? I'd like to talk to you about Malibu Stacy. Do you have any idea? How many kids have tried to track me down? Am I the first? Yes. I want you to hear what Malibu Stacy is telling a generation of little girls. 
thinking too much gives you wrinkles. All right, I've been waiting nine years to get my frisbee back.